but I've gone a good solid week without being traumatized. Anyway, um, so I'm going to tell you a story about that. And I was on my way to San Francisco. I was going to a leadership retreat. Um, but the way to get there, you have to drive to the airport, you have to take the airplane, and most likely two of them, and then your friend picks you up. And there's a lot of motion in there, and I get really motion sick. And if you don't get motion sick, like, people don't really understand. Um, so, you, like, I have my eyes closed and I'm trying to breathe, but people in the, in the airplane with me are trying to talk to me, and I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm like, I'm going to vomit on you if you keep talking to me. <laughs> so I was dealing with this, like, a little, you know, digestive thing going on. My friend picked me up, and it was a beautiful sunny day in San Francisco, and it's always very cold there, especially if you have desert blood. But the sun was out, and so there were lots of people out in the street, and my friend was chatting, and he's getting ready to go to grad school in Scotland, so, you know, trying to, trying to bear with him and listen to his amazing stories and not vomit in his car, because that would be rude. Um, so I was trying to, like, look down and, like, be calm, or just look outside and, like, think about how beautiful things are out there. And anytime I have a traumatic experience or even a really happy one, I just try to you know, learn a lesson from it, really take something from it. So um, at this point, we were going downtown, and well, actually, I don't know where we were, because I don't know San Fran, but we were at a place where there were a lot of people and the sidewalk, and there were like the, the coverings for the bus. And so um, then I was looking outside at that point, and I'm like trying to breathe and, and breathe in a little of the cool air. And then all of a sudden, uh, something like time really just slowed down. So like we're going like 30 miles an hour, but all of a sudden time to slow down. And it was because I saw this woman. I saw her her face, and she was really like close. Her face was close to the ground. She was like bent like an L, and it, it just caught my attention. And so I I kind of looked, and um. Uh, so I'm looking out the car window, and we're going, but it's just like super slow, and I'm just taking all this information in, and her face is close to the sidewalk, and she has on a bright pink hoodie, and it's got sparkles, and I'm thinking, that's a really cool hoodie, I wish my hoodie had sparkles, and then like, it's going down her body, and you get to the waist, and all of a sudden, she's not wearing anything on the waist part of her, and I was like, wow, she she's endowed, um, and so I was like, what is happening, and then a man walks by, and I'm like, he's wearing tan trousers, and blue shoes, and he's blonde, and then all of a sudden, I realized, as we're like slowly going by, when we get to her rear end that is bared for everyone to see, she is obviously having some digestive problems, and she is um, she's pooping like on the sidewalk. And I was like, why is this happening to me right now? I feel my best not to vomit already. And she obviously was not, not only was she just pooping on the sidewalk, but she was really just like, <laughs> she really was, it was like a stream, like she was having a problem. And all I did was start screaming. And my friend was like, what's happening? And then we, we glide by and I was like, um, I just saw that woman take a poop on the sidewalk. Did that happen here? And he's like, that only happens when you come to visit. And so the, the thought that I came back trying to make a, a lesson out of everything that I see is that um, really make sure you go to the bathroom before you leave. Thank <laughs> you.